Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Letters Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Just before we jump in, I want to say that last week was really epic for me. I reached a huge milestone because I launched the initiation and that is my four week immersive learn tarot journey and you can see a little bit of a demo of it right here. So it's been amazing to see some of you guys jump in and learn tarot with me. I'm so grateful for that. Don't forget that there is a special price through to the end of August if you want to take advantage of that. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok guys. Those links are also down there including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. I am available for those and would love to read for you. So I am wishing you so much love and magic for the week ahead. Let's get over to your reading now. Sagittarius, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for August 23rd through to the 29th. Sag, I hope you're doing really well. Let's see what just may be that's trying to get out on the cards for you for the week. Got the Work Your Light Oracle here, the Moon Child Tarot. I'm using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for the tarot positions. Excuse the nails, guys. Terrible lockdown uh, grooming going on here in Melbourne, Australia, and probably will be for the foreseeable future. I've got Trust the Niggle. What is that feeling trying to tell you? Guys, this is a card of trusting your intuition and knowing that really if something feels off, it probably is, or if something feels great, it probably is as well. Um, not as well, but you know, if that's how you feel about a situation. So this is about really feeling into your intuition and also the signs that your body gives you. It can come as that tightening feeling in your stomach or a feeling of um, joy and expansion through the body. There is so much wisdom that our body can can show us and, and, and lead us with guys, but we do need to be tuned in to uh, to, to feel that. So it's saying that maybe a situation is a trying to tell you something this week. I've got take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. This is an indication that some of you are needing rest and needing a pause. Maybe you've been overworking, over-exercising, uh, just overdoing it. And through taking a break, through slowing down and feeling into the stillness, that's often when we can access our intuition and where that guidance can actually come through for us as well. If we're so busy with our business, uh, generally we're just not tuned in enough, guys. We The magic is all around us, but you'll only uh, feel and, and hear and see the magic if you are you know, in a, in a slow down and surrendered state. Getting one tarot energy from this deck, Sag, to sum up the week for you. Okay, it is the Seven of Wands. Okay, the universe, I think, through that niggling feeling is trying to tell you there's an area of your life that, you know, you're really feeling is uh, out of flow for you. The Seven of Wands can be an area of challenge. Um, sometimes it's about being in competition for something, in competition for a promotion, in competition because there's more than one person involved in a, in a love situation. But for me, it's also this energy of being out of alignment, out of the universal flow, off the best path, path for your life. So if things really seem um, difficult and they're just not working, and I mean sort of longer term across the board in your life is an indication that maybe you are needing to make some changes. Of course, we all go through difficult situations because we're meant to, because we need to get the growth and the lesson to expand um, our consciousness through them. But if it's going on on long term, there's usually something that we're, we're not seeing, we're not feeling. We might be getting the intuition, but we're not acting on it. So the universe is saying it's time for you to feel into your inner guidance and make the changes that you are being uh, encouraged to through that. Sag, so let's get the energy of the recent past. Energy is leaving, completing, transitioning. If this is your reading, Sag, the chariot. Well... Pretty clear message here, guys. This relates to moving on in a situation or making some kind of uh, physical relocation. I see the Ten of Swords trying to show itself here. So you probably do need to end something in order to do that. High Priestess, that is the intuition card, guys. It's just saying it's so strongly trying to, to lead you 
towards this hanged man that's what's going to get you out of the stuck period that you might be feeling get things moving a new opportunity coming in let's get the clarifiers clarifying the chariot three of wands two of wands ten of cups that's what we want to see. Can we get, all right, we'll take that top one there. It is poking out. Oh, it's the hanged man again. One more. Queen of Cups. Okay, the cards are just saying it's so important to listen to your intuition, guys. We have got the Queen of Cups. That's Cancer Energy. It's really about intuition as well. High Priestess. Um, you know the intuition card here and also there are there are two cards of cancer so you may be dealing with a cancer energy okay what I'm really feeling here is that the universe is trying to get your attention that it is time to move on or move forward in a situation um, the chariot is about having that determination and the strength and courage to to make that change um, the chariot can talk about leaving a sense of comfort or home so for example you might be needing to leave uh, you know a relationship that has become the comfort zone but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is it is serving you well uh, a job can become a comfort zone as well but you know really there's something else better uh, waiting for us or it could be you know needing to make a physical location to another place for a for love or for a role and of course we have to leave something behind to do that the cards are indicating though with the, the hanged man here that you were in a pattern where you did feel quite stuck and you were feeling confined. So this is about getting yourself moving again and I feel like the situation that you're moving on from became the comfort zone but it also wasn't uh, offering you you know, the growth, uh, the expansion um it wasn't really offering you anything new here and so the cards are saying you've probably outgrown it and it is time to close the door on that and that's where i saw the ten of swords when this came out but when i put the past energy down from the bottom of this deck i've got the universe or the world and this is about huge endings like a massive big cycle ending in your life a big chapter a big karmic chapter is ending so it says that the karmic contract or the karmic lesson is complete in the situation that you're moving away from so you can have peace of mind knowing that there's nothing more to play out here both of these cards are cards of victory because the victory is gained through moving on in the divine timing that you know it is meant to happen and that's how we stay in the universal flow by allowing doors that are already closing to close and stepping through to the new here so that is a clear clear message with the chariot we want to make a clear aligned decision to move forward this uh, stone chariot is not drawn by reins but just by the magician's wand just by the intention of you the charioteer if we kind of stay in two minds oh i'm not sure maybe one day i think i'm going to move on the next day i'm going to stay these two sphinxes that are guiding the chariot can go off in different directions meaning your chariot's going to take the winding road not the best lightning path towards the new for you so this is about getting unstuck and the cards are saying you might need to see things from a different perspective you know where you kind of thought there wasn't change it is time to make change and it's really time to take a different viewpoint in this situation now i'm going to go to the two of wands and the high priestess next i feel like this is no uh new kind of insight for you though the high priestess is that intuition that's been following you around for a while it's become a niggling feeling like you've kind of known i'm gonna need to make a big change here but i'm not really ready i'll just stuff that down and and kind of ignore that and now it's kind of got to the point where you can't ignore it anymore the two of wands is this indication that you have been starting to make plans for the future or dreaming and scheming and hoping and wishing um, you've been getting ready to make this move because you know that it is time to kind of flee the nest or broaden your horizons in some way. Maybe you realize that you have been off purpose or you have been living a life that where the passion has gone, whether that's for your job or your relationship. It's a general reading, guys. You can relate it to each. The passion has gone out of your life 
And I think it's just become a little bit um, kind of, there's a complacency or apathy that surrounds us. So this is about getting that fire back, getting your spark back. And, you know, the, the high priestess is saying, you need to trust your intuition and inner guidance on this one. And what I love to see here is, uh, the Queen of Cups with the Three of Wands because we're going from the Two of Wands to the Three. So in the Two, we've got somebody who's kind of just thinking about making a bold move and thinking and planning and scheming. The Three of Wands is somebody who has disconnected from the past situation and is getting ready to make a bigger, bolder move into the new. So I feel like this is the week that you actually initiate the moving forward. Maybe you have the conversation, the heartfelt conversation, maybe with a Queen of Cups, uh, whether that's male or female, this is a Cancer energy or water sign or somebody who, who has been a solid stable for you. And you say, well, look, you know, I really feel like I need to, um, you know, it's what I need to do. I need to go out in the big white world. I need to take this opportunity. I need to explore something new here. And as soon as you start making that move, you will get the feeling of victory. All those initial kind of indicators of success will show themselves to you. Stay emotionally grounded, guys. Stay compassionate. Stay intuitive. That will be um, really important for you in this move. It's interesting because the hanged man, which is here twice in this reading, is waiting for that light bulb moment, that aha moment to really to move forward and I feel like that's the intuition or the insight that's coming through there's going to be a message that comes to you that's like okay well if that's the last piece I am 100% know that I'm moving on now um the hanged man can often need to they say die the death of the hanged man which is getting to a place of acceptance accepting when you know things have had their time and that the new is calling and that is the, the, the release, the trigger that releases and liberates the hanged man. And I feel that, you know, there is going to be strong, new, passionate beginnings coming up for you with the Ace of Wands that you would miss out on if you stayed in this situation. So the Ace of Wands is finally getting your spark back for life, your energy, your enthusiasm, your power. Um, it can be about starting a new cycle of growth. It can be passionate new opportunities like passionate love or finding a job or opportunity that not only pays the bills but genuinely lights you up and gives you energy back as well. Some of you are going to go through a, a leap in your spiritual development, spiritual awakening, which we often do when we close cycles and, and enter into the new. So the Ten of Cups says, you know, you are heading towards a greater sense of fulfillment and happiness a higher vibration as well and a best life energy. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here saying, don't miss this opportunity to move with the karmic energies that are upon you to allow the, the wheel to turn, to carry you into the new change. We can resist. We do have free will. But I feel like if you resist, you'll get more of the same. You will be still feeling that stuck feeling You'll still be without growth and that niggling feeling will just keep eating away at you. Instead, we want to work with the energies of release and forward movement of the chariot to have a shot at getting to our greatest sense of happiness and achievement and really high vibrational living and really setting up a beautiful you know, home or life for yourself. It all starts with having the courage to to move on from what is not serving you anymore, what is not meant for you, what has fallen out of flow for you and embracing the new with great courage. So Saji, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective may or may not resonate for you. Feel free to drop me a comment. I do read them all and try and interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Has been a pleasure to read your cards, Sag. See you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.